Good morning children. Welcome back to Tux Paint. I hope you remember the topic that you have learned in previous class. Let us ha let us have a quick review about the tools you have learned till now. You have learned how to use paint, freehand drawing tools along with various brush shapes, line tools to draw beautiful pattern and have also tried our hand at some magic effort efforts using the magic tools you have learned how to save your work as well as open an already saved file let us learn more about tux paint and its wonderful tool now today we are starting from shape tools okay now see the left side is the tools which are seeing here in this side and this side what you are seeing these are sub tools okay now the first topic is shape tool now see this is a shape tool with the help of mouse you can first click the shape tool shape tool is used to draw various filled and unfilled polygon polygonal shapes the unique feature of this tool is rotation that means you can rotate this tool in rotate the shape of any angle on any angle uh, on a 360 degree scale now see for using shape tool first what you have to do with the help of mouse you have to first click select the shape tool from the toolbox when you select the shape tool see this side the the in sub tools the name come is shapes see see this uh, sub tools in sub tools you are seeing various shape some are blank blank shapes and some are fill uh, fill square uh, fill shapes so suppose we are selecting select the square okay now we are selecting the square shape from sub tool box on the right hand side this is a square shape you can either choose a blank one this one or a filled square now bring the mouse pointer to the drawing area see this is this is your what this is your drawing area in this drawing area what you have to do you have to bring your mouse pointer and this is a mouse mouse pointer you are able to see yes select a point on drawing area now we have select this point okay now see the the shape you are seeing now this shape which shape is this this is a spun s p u n spun arrow this shape is known as spun arrow now we have select the drawing area now click and drag the mouse and choose the desired area release see now what is this this is a shape we able to see suppose if we are, we are selecting fill shape see now you have seen this is a which shape is this this is blank square and this is fill square now what you can do now you can change color also see if you want to select this color see you can take circle also now you can see a spun i have explain you now see now once you have finished clicking the drawing area to see the final image so you have finished this this is your final image let us draw four different shapes as various angle likewise try your hand with other shape as well see now we can take triangle also you can with the help of spun you can rotate a triangle you can take change the color also see now you can take star the various in whatever uh, angle you want to to uh, put you can rotate so children this you have learned about what shapes there are 16 different shape available in such in sub toolbox of the shape tool you can see here okay this is sub toolbox of shapes now next tool i am going to explain you is eraser tool we are using eraser yes yes in paint also we are using eraser to erase a drawing in this also eraser tool is here see this 
This is a eraser tool. Eraser tool is used to erase unwanted part of picture. It is very easy to use. So now first select the eraser tool. I have selected from eraser tool from the toolbox. Select desired shape. See you can see here the different shape of eraser. Okay. Suppose I am selecting first shape. See I have selected this shape. Now what can you do? Bring the mouse pointer in the drawing area. Click on the left button or mouse, uh, left mouse button and drag the eraser to the area that you want to rub. See, I have selected mouse, left mouse button and what I am doing, I am dragging the area which I want to rub. Understood? This is a, which shape is this? This is eraser. This is eraser tool. Now, next tool I am going to explain you is new tool. See, in toolbox, see this new tool is here, where is N-E-W new. Now, you cannot work in a single file forever. You always make different files for different different drawings. Once you have saved your previous work, you can open a new file using the new tool from the toolbox. Now, let us create, let us learn how to create new file. Now first to create a new file, you have to click here. See, here you can see this. Pick a color or picture with which to start a new drawing. Now click a new, if, when we have clicked the new drawing, see, these are different color. And if you want to see the picture also, now click on down arrow, see, different, different pictures are there. You can select any picture from this. Up arrow. You can get color box and starters to start a new drawing. Now click on drawn down arrow button. As I have told you, you can see the different shapes. Yes. Now select any color or frame of your choice from this. Of your choice for example I have selected the green color green background color this one then what you do first you click this green color then open yes okay now see what you are able to see now you will find a black blank screen with a green background color now you can draw anything in drawing area since your canvas is green you must use light color light, white, yellow, orange or pink. Now create some new files with different background color. Okay. Now this is we have learned about new. Now our next topic is edges effect. In edges effect it is a unique feature. It is a unique feature in Tux Paint. Using this tool we can differentiate the edges from an already drawn image. Let us see how it works. Now, for this, you have to click on from tool, you have to click on shapes. From, see, different shapes are there. You can select any of the shape and click it here. Suppose I am doing this with red color. Hmm. Now, first, we have what we have taken we have taken shapes we have taken different shapes now <coughs> select the magic tool from toolbox and choose edges from sub toolbox see this is edges from the sub toolbox using some magic wand by using some magic wand click and drag it over the entire picture see Now, what you are able to see, you will observe that it will erase a solid part of image and display the edges outline of the shape. See, you are able to see this? this? Yes. So, this is edges effect. Now, our next topic is drip magic. Now, what is drip magic? Now, what happens when water is sprinkled on drawing made 
with a sketch pen or a letter that is written using ink pen what happen yes the ink and color will scatter and drip away like water similarly this magic sub tool gives a dripping effect to the effect to the drawing now let us see how it work for this first you have to choose first open a new file this is a new file we have all open in tax pane now select a color we have set a background color also there is green color as previously i have explained you now click on text text tool see where text tool this now we have taken text tool and write the uh, suppose we are writing hello i am using tux paint what i have written hello i am using tux paint now select the magic tool we have selected magic magic tool and choose the drip effect see now where is drip effect this is drip effect now what you have to do draw uh, drag the magic wand over the text to add the dripping effect to it now see h i have drop e see this you are able to see when you are clicking when in this what you are say, seeing see this the ink is scatter now click how the text changes check how the text changes after applying the drip effect you are able to see see this now our next topic is form effect you must have seen your mother washing clothes whenever you add washing powder to the water a lot of form appears on the water similarly this tool add the form effect whenever you want to see first what we have done first we have taken magic tool see and form this is form now see when you click form see this you are able to see form this is a form which is appears here we are double you with the help of mouse when you are clicking this is form now next tool which i am using which i am going to explain you is grass effect to draw grass you can similarly use grass effect from the sub tool box to draw neat and tidy grass i hope you remember that pre various paint tool shapes that you have studied in previous class first of all what we do first we open a new file we have click in new now we select white background okay we have selected white white background then open yes now select the paint tool see this is paint tool and we will choose blue color and draw the river see i am drawing the river here see this what i have drawn i have drawn river <coughs> now select the magic tool and fill effect click on gr uh, see grass for click on down arrow see this is grass now select the color we have taken the color we have taken the grass now see 
Now, when you have taken the glass, click on the ground to fill the grass. See. We are adding grass here. Now we have take uh, now next tool we are using that is wine tool. So from select paint after selecting paint tool again pick the wine tool from the brush action. See now this is wine tool. See you are able to see this. Fill this with wine tool. Now suppose if you want to grow some flowers in it, click on magic tool, flowers, select flowers and click here, see, they are beautiful flowers. Now here I am showing you form effect on water, see, for this I will select form, see this. The next tool is rainbow and real rainbow effect. You are seeing rainbow in the sky? Yes. Rainbow effect draw a trail of rainbow, trail of rainbow colors as you drag the magic wand on the drawing area. See, first we select the magic tool, then click on rainbow. See, click on down arrow. First what you are using, you will use rainbow only rainbow see this is rainbow now if you want to see real rainbow next to rainbow is real rainbow see this is a real rainbow you can use real rainbow in your when you draw scenery in this okay Now our next topic is noise effect. Noise effect is used to add white noise to a drawing. Sometime you have seen while watching television, the TV signal suddenly disappears. Yes? At that time, you see thousands of black and grey dots on your screen with some noise. That is called black noise. And white noise is a mixture of grey, blue, maroon and white dots. See? Select magic tool, then in sub tool, what you will select? Noise. See, this you are able to see. This is what? This is noise effect. Now, next is smudge effect. For this, smudge effect is used when we draw water bodies in our drawing. It is used to mix two different color smoothly we are using when we are using paint we are mixing two color na same here smudge effect is what mixture of we will uh, mix two different different color this tool give effect as if the color is mixed with wet paint so let us try first what we have taken first we come to new first we change our background canvas color First click on new, then see different color appears here, take white color, then open, yes. Now see, this is white screen, now take two different color with the help of magic tool, select magic tools, first select paint shapes tool, you can take this, see first what we have done, click on shape tool that we have taken circle. Take one circle as yellow, another circle I am taking red, see, this is what I have taken, I have taken two balls, one ball is yellow and one ball is red, 
Now, for smudge effect, click on magic tool. Then click on down arrow. This is smudge. Now, draw the magic wand on these join lines to, uh, till you get desired result. See. Are you able to see? This. So, this is this create a beautiful smudge effect. Now, next tool is waves effect. Wave effect is used to wiggle any picture side to side horizontally. Let us use this effect. Open a new file. See, I have already opened a new file with a orange, light orange background. Now, first what we do, first select the paint, paint tool and fill a curved structure and see, first I have, now I am see taking the See, what I have done, draw a, I have done a curved structure as you are seeing here with red color. Okay, now select a magic tool. This is magic tool. Then select the waves effect. See, click on down arrow. Now this is wave. After selecting wave effect from sub tool, see what penguin is saying, seen here. What penguin is saying? Penguin instruct appears. See. Click what uh, penguin is saying. Click to make the picture horizontal waves. Click toward the top for shorter waves. And bottom for, uh, bottom for taller waves. The left for small wave. And the right for long waves. So now click on the screen to get the desired wave effect. Now see. All able to see waves? While clicking, we can see the wave. The clicking at the bottom of the screen will provide taller wave effect. You see? See. These are taller waves. Now, our next topic is wavelet effect. The wavelet effect wiggles any picture up and down vertical rather than side to side. Let us apply this effect to our drawing. I have taken new, I have opened the new canvas color, I have taken blue color and I have marked wave as black color. Undo the previous changes of your drawing. We, I have done undo the button with the toolbox. Now, click on the wave tool. Let's see. First for this, click on magic tool. Then from surf tool, I have clicked wavelet effect see for this now click on the top of the drawing area to add shorter waves to in your drawing see now what is this this is wavelet you have learned almost everything about children you have learned almost everything about the tux paint, its various tool and their sub tool as well. Draw more picture with new effect and idea for better understanding of the tool. Thank you.